It looks like like Odin's people were there. I have yet to go in this area, which is I'm assuming where the Odin fight's gonna take place. Or maybe Ultima's fight if that when that happens. I don't know when though. Uh yeah, just barely level forty. Did all the side quests I can. Um done all the bounties so far. I pretty much just literally do as much as I can before I do the main quest. It takes a long time. <laughs> oh shit. It takes a long time, but it's worth it. Now we're trying to save mid Gav. Someone else, I think. Sounds like thunder. <laughs> We're starting to think oh, we're nice. off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you, or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Oh, hello. <laughs> Man, straight went straight to the knee. <laughs> it's probably just formality. Oh yes, that's right. It's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> yeah. So these Akashic are being controlled. Uh, that's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do oh, reach shit. the drivers in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. But <clears throat> See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Alrighty.
write it down. Me and good boy. All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Damn! That works. Oh, nice. That was level 20? What about these guys? There we go. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm gonna use this.
damn it. Oh, my, my parry was terrible. <laughs> oh well. He's gonna die anyway, so... Damn. I missed my dodge and my parry. <laughs> oh well. This guy first. Oh. Ow. All right, we'll do this. Do this. Get this guy. Okay. That sounded big. So sure Jill must be busy. They're fine. survivors in sight. Oh, they all got wrecked by fucking Odin and the other guy. <laughs> Boss fight? No, just a lot of enemies. Damn. Casted that it was you. You've caused quite the commotion. 
But then I would expect no less from you, Oh shit. I get to square up with this guy? Let's go. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rosfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. He do. I am safe near of House Harbor. And you will yield. Will I though? Will I you? Or not. Oh, hello. Oh shit, okay. He's got combos. Okay. Do that. Okay. That's cool as shit. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Oh shit. Watch closely, Mythos. Damn. Yes. Whoa, that's cool. Okay. Damn. Holy shit. Oh, 
He has some cool moves. Alright, this fight's about done. Oh, I guess not. Alright. It should be getting close. Oh, damn. There we go. Let's go. What is this? Crafting. Okay. The vessel is strong. He had some cool moves though, I can't lie. That was pretty cool. Bruh, Odin's moveset is gonna be so sick. <laughs> I'm really excited for the Odin fight. So soon. No way, it's already happening. No shot. <laughs> Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walu. Get back. <gasps> That's a sick OST. Oh, my God. Oh, we gonna run it? Oh, you won. Alright, bet. Let's go. Oh, shit. Come on now. Oh, he... Oh, he elegant. Oh, he's strong. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. 
But Muthos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. Majesty, my purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. He is so fucking cool. What the fuck? You are as weak as all the rest. Joshua! Okay, so Odin strong as shit. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Yo, his theme was so fucking cool. He's such a cool villain. The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Put you to the trouble like that. <laughs> it is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but you've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? 
I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. Oh. All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who told me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, a lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. Behind here, you wouldn't sail without him. Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. Pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <laughs> well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Okay. <clears throat> right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Paul said it was a <laughs> Yeah. again what is it that you wish to learn okay I have the details here all right I wonder when he's gonna come back into play like when he finally uh, wakes up but we'll see ends today's lesson new hunts how many more only one it's an a rank the sickle and dalmechia it is kind of lame but i have <laughs> this website just tells me where uh where all these guys are. Oh, I figure... The Sickle, Nomekia? I suppose I could do that. The Sickle, the Sickle, the Sickle. Okay. Am I able to travel anywhere else? Yeah, I can. Cool. Yeah. I'll try not to look it up. <laughs> I should be able to find it. Yeah, there's definitely a few fights I'm probably gonna redo, like New Game Plus for sure. Titan's fight was fucking sick. <laughs> um, yeah, Typhoon was cool. 
I mean, this was all... I think... Yeah, this was all while Sid was still alive. From here on, Sid is dead. If it's knowledge you see, what new items do we got? Go on, then. Rune blade. Rune belt. Looks like I'll be able to craft that, though, so... Oh yeah, this is a phoenix down now. <laughs> the last elixir. Am I gonna use it? I don't think so, but... There's really no point in using a phoenix down. Alright, sick. Am I able to craft all of these? Yeah, I am. Cool. It lost you a good while. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Uh, reinforce. Yeah, I can reinforce all these. Let's go. You can thank me later. My best work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. Anything else? Ooh, this one looks kind of cool. They're all greens. That's all good. Um, I don't even use the Lionheart tonic. Really no need for that. Okay, now it's time to go to the sickle. Okay. Oh shit, that's the world map. I need local map. Okay, sickle. There's a sickle. Okay. What do you think? Thinking either here or here. Hmm. They're both little bits away. I think there was already something I fought here. This one? Okay. See what that one looks like. I'm sure it's probably one of those two locations. No, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I said better not be. Shit. I mean, this isn't it, but I kind of want to fight him.
Okay. Good girl. Let's keep going, going through and see if, uh... See if I'll be here. Yeah, no, I already fought a bounty here. Okay. That's fine. Check right there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. Now it's a very colorful, very colorful little guy. That's like no shock of a ever seen. Something tells me it won't be easily broken. Damn. There's no stagger on this guy. Damn. 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 How many times is he gonna do this shit? Took a lot more damage than I should have, though. I can't lie. <laughs> Poor beast. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> okay, cool. Just wanted to get that bounty out of the way real quick. And now I gotta pick up some potions.
Clive. Clive. Oh, no. You'll not find a better price than that. Come cool. again. Or don't. All right, now it's time to speak with Otto. supposed to do our duty in the hills and God. Where the hell is everyone else? They're all right. But it's a long story. I'm pretty sure he wants to know said long story. <laughs> you lot don't do things by halves, do you? Nah. Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Yeah. As for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be sitting under a pile of rubble. I know, but we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been... Then I'll check the workshop. <laughs> Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. How much more do I need? Fifteen fifty. Come again. Hey, it's not for this quest, I'll have it. Oh, there's a few things there? Okay, I'll check it out. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, do you think Mid's ship will have a sign? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh. Mm. Sid's pipes. Word from Canva for days. Please tell me it is all right. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Sid's best invention. Okay. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. But I need to go to the chambers to see that new item there. And a new letter. Sid! Heard you were in Canva. Cool. Oh yeah, so okay. So the four great justice thing. Um the first side of quest you pretty much find out that or a war pretty much is about to start in Lost Wing. And you're like, oh shit, but you can't do anything. And then the quest pops up again. He's actually going to war. And a whole bunch of shit happens. He survives. And, 
Lost Wing gets like flooded of the ether stuff. So now you can't even go to that area anymore. But I'm assuming by the time, like later in the game, I'm sure their new base will actually have stuff. But like that's all a side quest. <laughs> a whole area just became, like, it's gone now. And also, same thing happened with uh, Martha's Rest. Because that place uh, was like a safe haven for bears and everything, right? So naturally, when spreading the word about that, a lot of people are going to go to Martha's Rest. Which also means she won't have enough room to uh, keep all these people. So, Eastpool, um, like early in the game, there was like a whole like fiasco here. Pretty much it was invaded and now it's deserted. It's been deserted for years. So, we uh, cleared it of all bandits and stuff. So now, Martha's Rest, the people who uh, kept coming, are now living at Eastpool. They're building a new village there and bringing it back to life. All done in side quests, which I think is pretty good. <laughs> So yeah, like, like I've been saying, some of the side quests are really good. They actually... Well, they make sense. Yeah, it does. It does sound like a main quest. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than more. Eleven, twelve, when she cobbled that thing together. It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, Mid was the one who built that. Interesting. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? Nah, they fucking shit. <laughs> See? And you had nothing to do with this. No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. <sighs> <laughs> so we caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Y'all fucking broke it. My goodness. No. Damn. Well, don't look at me. 
I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Yeah, that's probably what they need. Dreams come true. And I should be able to get this last thing over here. Oh, okay. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Oh. Dion left. Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. Well, he did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and the revert? Uh, ask me when I get back. My goodness. Then at least try to stick. But if that fails, try. <laughs> At the very least. Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails, I have to get back. I have to get back. Yet, there's some new side quests. <laughs> there's some new side quests, so <laughs> I kind of, I kind of can't uh, get to that main stuff yet. So <laughs> it's gonna be a minute. I don't like this song. this one yeah listen to the the OG uh, or yeah this is like the original hideaway soundtrack it's been a while kind of nostalgic Oh, damn. I was off. Kind of. I was able to get. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan Beards. With Morbles, I know- I doubt they will. Hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The okay, bro, I don't give a fuck. Just let me- <laughs> Just let me do the quest. I really don't care about this guy. <laughs> Oh, another hunt. Okay. Cool. But yeah, I don't know. It kind of sucks that a lot of people just do not like the, the fact that this game exists. Just because it's nothing, or it's nothing similar to how Final Fantasy was. 
Like, that's the whole point of this game. <laughs> it's completely different. It's a new direction. Like... Oh, this guy. There you are. What's happened? Talia's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient. Yeah, apparently. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing us yep. hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, then will you talk to her? Oh yeah, that's one I kind of care about. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Yeah, because... This is more of an action RPG. Doesn't have a ton of RPG elements. Like the main thing it has that would kind of be considered that is you know switching around what skills you're gonna use. But it's nothing like a skill tree or anything. But that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't need to have that. But apparently, just people are so pissed that uh, it's annoying. It's annoying. Because it's a great game. Rodrigo is worried about you. We all admire your dedication, but I will. When it... Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Yeah, who is that? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them. We've oh, what tears help this man? Not my tears. <laughs> Not literal tears. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Ty. There must be something we... Sometimes an easy death is the greatest mm -hmm. kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that. I... We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh. I can make the draft if you could just tell me what there is a species of venom weeping spider. Bring me one of their eyes. I'll make sure the other ingredients. All right, cool. I think also, uh, thank you, Clive. Because there's not an official like party system. Like, yes, you have your party change, but you only have as much control over them as others. I think that's why some people were okay with 15 because it still had some elements of uh whatchamacallit <laughs> what's up paul what's up man damn this game is fucking long 2850 bro i'm never gonna beat this damn game shit All right, what's up? Him out again. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit worried about him. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, what's the ring? I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him up. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around. Oh, another blacksmith blues. Again. Well, cheers. I'll be sure to pay him a visit. All right. I'll... Cool. Yeah, that's fair though. I hope it's soon, but I hope when they make a PC port, that's actually a good port <laughs> and doesn't run at like fucking twenty frames a second. Okay. Okay. Carrot. <laughs> That's the name. It's just, it's just carrot. Okay. Uh, fish cross the red. Uh, three reads. Oh shit! Hold on. Be right back. <sighs>
I got a box. <laughs> I, I have gotten a box, and I believe it's from Amazon. I think it's my magic cards. I don't know, though. How the fuck do I open this? I need a knife. Ugh. All right. Taking a pause on Final Fantasy for a moment. I need an open box. Eh. With knife. Eh. Damn. Um. Kind of a live unboxing, except uh, y'all are just gonna hear what I get. No, uh, ain't gonna see shit. Cause I don't want to set up my webcam. Come on. Eh. Come on. Oh yeah. I probably should have looked at Amazon to see if this is it. What the fuck? How's there so much shit in here? Damn. Damn. Oh, it is my magic. Hey! Let's go! My magic cards are here. Yay. Nice! It's a pretty cool box. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna open it all right now. But, I got magic. Magic, magic. Okay, uh, I'm fighting Carrot. Okay. Um. The Whispering Waters. Okay. Whispering Water. Please, sir, can I have some Morble? Nice. I like the name of that. Bro, this man gets depressed so many times when he sees a cool thing that he can't craft. Bloody old Clive. Oh, hey. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memory. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back, that ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. The thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, 
and is going to distract you. What'd you say, Blackthorn? It's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name? In Dravosht, my old village. He won't have left. Dravosht, eh? Aaron, just north of the fields of Karak. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosht as soon as you can, and I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get... Good luck with that. All right, then. I just remember whispering, whispering, whispering something. And Rosaria, right? Yeah, see you, dude. See you later. Whispering, whispering. Whispering, hey. Oh, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Okay, it's just right there. Nice. How do you? How do you do? Take care out there, eh? All right. Um. Nah, man. Ready, go. Fly up, Rosia. It's been a while since I have been down this way. Jeez. Crap. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is definitely where it is. It's gotta be. Carrot. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Damn, hella bad breath. Oh, I fucked up. Nice try. Uh. Uh. 
get some more will damage in. Damn. I know I usually wait, but I might as well just deliver it real quick. Just to kind of clear up the HUD a little bit. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. There you go, mate. Yeah. Now, what kind of upgrade am I going to get from this? Yes, begin. I think I might be getting more potions or better efficiency, maybe. It's just as I hoped. Witness how the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil, how they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid, you've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morgan, you must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. Oh, okay, cool. So my potions are going to be stronger. Oh, just increasing. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, maximized. Oh, shit. Nice. So how much more? Twenty-eight percent and fifty-six percent, a hundred and eight seconds, seventy-two seconds, let's go. And I have something so increase the potency. Forty percent. Sixty-eight percent and Damn, eighty percent? Let's go. Yeah. These potions are really strong now. <laughs> Just two regular potions will completely fill up my HP bar if I, like, I'm about to die. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll do the blacksmith one first. Get the upgrades done first. Okay, where is this at? That's not that far. Oh yeah, <laughs> the Dalmechian Republic is a huge map as well. <laughs> Still have yet to get to this area. Wait. 
it looks like I can get to this area now. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, because that was un unaccessible before. See if uh, this quest has me going over there. Where am I supposed to go? Hit your right. Okay. Uh, or Ambrosia, there we go. I just don't like those guys, so... <laughs> like, more often they're not, than not, they cause so many problems. Most of the side quests, you end up having to fight them. They're always doing some shit. Nice, new fast travel. Closed. Two sworders. No one's allowed in. Well, I'll let you in anyway. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right, just. I won't throw the first punch. Not good enough for you. Go on then. Much obliged. This is Dravosht. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. <laughs> Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now. There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. Someone can build me a brick. All right. I appreciate it. You'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our masters. Forge on the hill. Good luck. Okay. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Mama. Miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Poor things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. 
Yes, I see. He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. Damn. Let me guess. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, what turn the village against you? The left. Dravost. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. So the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of... Doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it. It's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this... Be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravost will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by her. I'll be needing some help building a furnace isn't exactly as a favor, and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, I've got a job for you too, Clive. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will step. Luckily for us, <laughs> salamanders. Time for a spot of. Cool. Time to do some good. But oh, stuff to buy? Forges, what is over there. here? They are forty thousand. I 
I could buy eight. Uh, I don't know if I want to start buying all these though. Go safely now. I'm gonna hoard up my my gill for a little longer. Wow. Let's go. Make this quick, shall we? I dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. What's this all about then? Don't know. Any trouble finding that nothing I couldn't handle? Right then. So everyone pulls their weight, we'll be. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. You know what this means. <laughs> Now you're sorry, bro? Yeah? I, uh, now you do, huh? <laughs> that thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. Yeah. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. What is it? It calls cinders. Right. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there is my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge, our secret for yours. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the end that will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, but he didn't fit any wonder I hate his guts. The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. Nah. Can definitely understand, like, why he's upset. Yeah, you know Makes sense, but... If land weren't built in a day and all these things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammer. But what matters is... Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off with us? I'll see that you both do. All right. Cool. 
Oh, I gotta go back to that way. Okay, um, I do want to explore Titan's Wake, though. I do want to see what's going on there. This way? Cool. Let's see what's uh, going on over here. I'm guessing there's probably going to be a bounty here at some point. Okay. Well. Head on back. Oh, now I have a new location. Nice. It's cool. The side quests are actually unlocking new areas in the game. <laughs> it's good. Bow, bow. Gentlemen. Yeah, well, the whole village turned out for a go on the bellows off. Everyone except Zoltan has. Oh, but that reminds me. Pick up Sigurd. Yep. How'd you come by this? Sure, you want to meet? I'm sure. Huh. Yeah, uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I, if that helps save even a single life, what was it you said he called me? Genius. <laughs> he spent sleep that. Copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. It's good to see you back on form. I don't know how you pair put up with me, so I'm grateful. Now, where was I? Nice. <laughs> Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. It's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. Now, what, uh, what stuff is he going to be able to let me craft now? Ouroboros. I'm able to craft set items yet. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, these are from uh, Hunts, I'm guessing. Yeah, the Morble Flower was from a Hunt. Comment, yeah, Stone Tongue. 
I don't imagine I'm gonna need to grind for this. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like everything else where it's just a hunt. Um, that's fine, because I do all the hunts anyway, so should be good. Da, 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 da. A lot of ability points. Oh my god! <laughs> All done. Sheesh. Once I unlock the next skill tree, <laughs> I'll be looking at a lot of stuff. I might as well remaster this since I have a lot of points to spare. I. Eh. I don't know if I really want to use that one though. I mean, it could be good. Number of satellites. Hmm. I tried this one, it's not that good. These just do pure damage. This is just a counter. It's just a range. Yeah, I might I might do this one honestly. Might might come in handy. But what am I gonna replace it for though? I might just do this. This is just pure support stuff. Which is fine. See how it works. If it doesn't work, I can always scrap it, but hopefully it'll uh but I know if used right, it could definitely help tack on a lot of damage. But I'll just have to see. Wait, this is what, how Lost Wing is now. <laughs> Ain't shit here anymore, it's all flooded. But... Granted... I imagine if you didn't do the side quest... I don't think it would still stay like this. Or it could just happen. You'd be like, whoa, what the fuck happened? And then the game would be like, if you had done this, you could have saved some people. And if that happened, that would be a damn. It would make you feel like shit.
Okay, I guess they can be kind of... They last for a while, though, don't they? Kiaw. I just gotta get used to actually using it to its potential. Cause I don't really use little magic bursts that much. I'm sure with like... Meh, I don't know. I gotta get used to it. But I also gotta make sure to balance it to where I'm not purely focusing on casting magic. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is something here that actually might make it really good. This one here. It maintains cast. Yeah, that could be pretty nice. I'll try it. See how that works. And because when you cast that ability with the fully charged magic, it does quite a bit of damage. So having it constantly ready at a full charge would be pretty good. It is the best you can do sometimes, apparently. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. you helped today was my mentor back in the southern isles on the front lines of i was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift but in such blighted lands i was next to useless an art we would be lost without tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world a respite from the agony of the and the kindness sid would have you know as well as i what life is like for a bear soldier Marched from one battle to the next. Never know. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. 
But my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of truth. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I hope so. Hope that I can actually utilize the uh, charge spell pr properly. <laughs> be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INAR is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard-pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive. What do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only one Yeah. They have they're able to do magic because of the power of the crystal. It was his mastery. And they're pretty much just used like slaves. Sword can sever the very threads of creation, but don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. Must. The light I thought this cove was meant to be hidden. <laughs> We're about to have a fucking battle, let's go! Let's go, come on. It's gonna be light work. Damn, that's a lot of them. Ability. Let's go. Come on, Which of you fancies me 
eating ogre killer nuts. I thought it was called Heartbreaker. Damn it. Damage. Fuck. Yeah, I'm noticing that little instant charge spell plus the droids are pretty. They do a bit of damage. <laughs> That's pretty good. Fucking serious. Wait. <laughs> for another round. Of course we are. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh shit. A boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter. I bet. Let's go. Mate, you plan. You leave. We follow. Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, fuck at me. Way anchor. Bro, one of them was a sick Keep boss fight. Why are there so many? <laughs> Shit. It's all good. Light work. Oh no, I don't have. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn. 
Christ! Run for it! Damn! Shoulder bash! <laughs> This game's so awesome. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. Wholly unnecessary. The mythos. I would not see you damaged. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another leak between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandonar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. <laughs> this guy. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> my brother. Boy. 
Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Oh yes, this dude. Between here and Walut. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash in the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take her forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us, lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Oh. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Oh, shit. <laughs> He is so cool. There is not my shit. Cannot sever. Great Grigos Gash. Fuck. 
All right, then. Oh shit, is this on here? Let me cast it, please! Oh, I wasted that. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, this little charge attack thing is really good. you done real quick. Maybe a parry. annoying.
sick. Okay. Um. Yeah, now we gotta go fight fucking Odin. Can you walk? Out of here I can. Stand still. Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. What? Shit. Fuck. But to, to where? survive 
This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? Stray by your blind resolve. Now, it, it is time, time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Let's go. Ah! Oh shit! All right. We don't have to do this. Okay. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. In a short time since our last meeting, we have grown much. Yet as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you. I wasted that. Whoops. Oh wait, shit. I was supposed to attack. Fuck.
Okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to stop it? You would yield so soon. Never. Life. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos, you wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still. You may take solace in the fact right. that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... Divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. Damn! How long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills? It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. 
You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Clive bested. <laughs> yeah. Odin fucked us up a second time, bro. Second! Two times, bro! Ow. Hey, we made it. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. Oh! And they would have seen the ice. Where it led. Nice! <laughs> Till dawn. This is the second time Artemis has bested me. Powerless against him. Maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. <laughs> Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so low. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Am I about to have Shiva's powers? Is that what I'm sensing? Jill. Are you sure? <laughs> Fucking Julian. <laughs> Oh, 
shit. I uh, okay. Well, I'm glad getting her. Damn. I'm glad getting uh her power this way. I was worried that getting Shiva's powers was going to be through her dying. But luckily it's this way. Because I was, I was scared that she was going to die. And that would be how I got her powers. I hope uh, Shiva's move set is pretty good. For real. Because I was a little disappointed with Bahamut's, but. Oh, well, maybe not disappointed. It's still good for support, like to get passive damage, I guess. No, I don't know if that's the word. I don't know the word. <laughs> <laughs> no. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Oh yeah, true. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. What is that? Of course. Drake's spine. Oh yes. Is at the bottom of the sea. 
Walud won't dare move on Storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Nice. Not gonna lie, they have a lot of balls fucking right there, because what if, like, there was a whole bunch of monsters there <laughs> that just pulled up? I mean, to be fair, they're strong as shit, so they'd be fine. But still. Like... Actually, yeah, no, they'd be fine. They had nothing to worry about. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But it's tall. And then it's tall. That would be such a turn off. <laughs> like. <laughs> would you even continue after that? After our brush with the iron hair, yeah, she was in urgent need of repair. Just be tired at that point. Just be like, nah, fuck it. Let's go to sleep. When we're ready to sell for ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still up. Show me a city where that isn't true. We're running out of time. We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. Still, let's hope so. All right. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> All right. Ice Age. What does this do? Okay. It's simple. Visit Joshua. Assuming Tony will allow it. All right, but I bet now there's quite a bit to do. Yeah. Let's see, look at the list, dude. Quick look. Yeah, under new management. Isabel, kindling the flame. Lord, there's a lot to do. <laughs> hey, that's all good though. More bounties, I hope. Really? No new bounties? Whack. Clive. Allow me to educate you. Yeah, we're gonna have to go there eventually. I have the details here. Okay. Absorbs the power of Shiva. Yeah. Okay. And we don't know what he's doing yet. Well, actually, we know she's helping him out. Very good. Okay. We're going to be spending quite a bit of time with the side quests, I'm assuming, but it's okay. I don't know. What do you think? Should I, uh, should I visit the infirmary or should I just do all the side quests? I'm thinking I should probably just do all the side quests so I could go straight through the main story afterwards. I have compiled some new entries if you would like to see them. Yeah. This, I believe you will find most interesting. What subject shall we consider today? Did you learn everything you needed? See what Blackthorn has. Oh, I'm assuming I'll be able to get like an ice sword. Yeah, I figured. 
Ice Brand. How does it look? Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Even though I literally just crafted a rune blade. But it's all good. Earn very impulse. Yes, I use impulse, so wait. Actually I need to see how uh Shiva's skill set is. Okay. What is mastering it do? Powerful follow-up attack called Frostbite. Okay. Oh, that's okay. I know I can use that. That's good. What's this one? Okay. This one is good. I know it. Okay. Get out of here, Titan. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, so we're going to need to use Mesmerize here. This is going to be used in midair. So what I can do is... Uh, yeah, just bring them all towards me and then bring them all up with Wicked Wheel. <laughs> Or I can do the reverse, launch someone up midair, and then bring other enemies towards me. Is there another in midair one I can use? Maybe upheaval. Could just launch everyone towards me, then bring more people towards me, and then just slam them all. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, I don't know if that's the one I'm going to use, though, so... We'll see. That one could be good. It's a knockback, and then you can bring him back towards you. Well, first I need to put Shiva's thing here, because that's pretty good. Um. Well, actually... Is it time to get rid of Phoenix Shift? I don't know, it might be time to get rid of Phoenix Shift, because Cold Snap can dash, and I can also use it to do a perfect dodge. Huh. Yeah, I think... I think it's time to get rid of the Phoenix Dash. I'll have to see how it works, because, you know, I've been using Phoenix the whole fucking game, but I think it might be a good idea to get rid of it for now. I don't know. I'll have to see how it works. I don't know if that's going to be a stupid play or not, but we'll see. Um, okay. The droids are cool. But, I don't know. I think I just want to try to use something else so I can do more damage. Wait, is this able to be used in midair? I don't think it is. Never mind, I lied. Yeah, I think that'll have to be the way to go. You can dash towards, then do AoEs. Bring someone close. Wicked wheel them up. Bring everyone together. 
why is Scarlet Cyclone here? I don't need... I don't need either of those. Uh, damn it. Okay. Thinking, thinking. Well, I definitely need... I mean, do I want this one? It's not able to be used in midair, which is fine, but... Impulse is just very solid. And actually, I should probably do impulse here. We're gonna... We're gonna reset that, because I don't really plan on using it again. Um... Yeah, I thought about it, but I mean, as of right now, because this one, it's I, right, but it doesn't really do too much. Um, I mean, yeah, it's cool doing this, but I already have two things to use for perfect dodge. I have the Berserker Ring to give me limit break attacks for a few seconds. And now I have this, which allow Fuck! Okay. Uh, which allows me to freeze people with the perfect dodge. So I don't really need three things to do that with. Um... And I mean... It just seems like this has further dashing range than Shiva. Actually, let me check that. I actually do not know if it has more range or not. I'll have to see. Get those, Hall of Virtue. Okay. I'm not really trying to fight this dude. Um, where is target? Oh damn! I have a lot of a lot of people now. I'll just give him a fucking. And yeah, girl. Okay. Pretty far. I mean, I could... Hmm. Yeah, it's not really... Because you can't start off a combo with it. Hold up. 
Yeah, that's a combo there. Um, let's see. No, I want... Yeah, we'll do that, and then... I want the enemy to have invincibility, yeah. So I could do this, 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 then that. Okay. Hmm. But can't the also... Yeah, and then I could continue from there. So it's like, you know, bring everyone close. Boom. Boom. And then just go again. Pretty good AoE stuff to do there. Um... The cold snap, though. Do I really want to keep it? Okay. So you can do a little attacks there. The freeze. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'll keep Cold Step for sure. That's just very solid. Very solid move. Especially with like perfect dodging it. Um, but then again, I have this to initiate an attack. I don't necessarily need to do that. Yeah. But what, why would I get rid of Phoenix with Titan? I think I'm gonna I think I'll do this. If I don't like the way it turns out, I'll I can of course change it, but uh I think it will uh I think it'll be good. Because I, I do have this to lunge towards the enemy. Yeah, so there's some, there's some nasty combinations. Okay, I think I'm going to run that. Okay, cool. Definitely complete. Uh, it feels so weird. I'm not going to be using Phoenix anymore. But I think it's good. I think it'll be good. Um, I just think this whole moveset here, like Wicked Wheel and Deadly Embrace, are just key. I think they're really good fundamentals to have. Um, I think there's just. There's just other alternatives to Phoenix Shift. Like, Extreme Lunge can do the same thing. Um, yeah. I think that's the route I'm gonna go. That should be fine. I think it'll be fine. I just gotta get used to not having it anymore. That's the, that's the main thing. Um... Yeah. 
start accepting side quests. Start doing all these. Oh yeah. Save often. <laughs> Yeah, sure. There's no way of knowing if Doris will come. Okay. You know, yeah, I might as well. Might as well save real quick. Nice. I really like, though, the amount of options there are for combos and just different play styles because you could totally um charge up wings of light and just do some crazy aoe with like lightning rod satellite um even hell this too would make it insane like there's a lot you can do you could go complete counterplay with this too. There's a lot of things you can do. It's awesome. You tried Molly's lemon tarts. I've never had it. And even ignition, like you could totally do a lot of AOE procs with ignition. With like a whole bunch of other abilities. So uh, once you're that bold, you're invincible, and you're proccing a whole bunch of other abilities to cause a lot of damage around you too. How was she? It's awesome. <laughs> Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification. And a system of reciprocal It really is. Let's just say it's very blimmin' hot. And people are hating on this game, bro. Like, just play another game. Honestly. Like, let us enjoy this amazing combat system. <laughs> let us enjoy it. Yes, TLDR. Thank you. <laughs> exactly, bro. People can't accept that Final Fantasy 16 is a different genre than original Final Fantasy style. Like, it's not that hard to accept. <laughs> The franchise just went in a different direction this game and is doing a great job at it while still having some Final Fantasy elements in it, which is great. See over the top of it. It's great. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's my job, actually. When she heard what the mission was... Did she? Following up on some new info. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Eyrie were keen to talk about their imprisonment. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. If she's not moved on already, yeah. Would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Is this another Blacksmith's Blues? Heard the bad news then, did you? Again. About Dravost. Blackthorn's old horn. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Kashik. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of skeptics. Something ain't done soon. Oh, it's not. Oh, it is a blacksmith's booze. 
I won't let that. Didn't think he would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. You reckon we should tell him? No. Yeah, well. Alright, so it's not really Blackthorn being all mopey again. But we, we're actually trying to. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> There are so many side quests. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I just gotta take a screenshot of that. Damn. I'm gonna be busy. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's do... Let's do the Hathorn one. Wait, yeah, let's do the Hathorn one. Which is this one here. So Dravosh is still standing. For now at least. Okay, where do I gotta go? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time, enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside that. Well done. Welcome back. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Drabosht would turn out to be the realm's most info keen to help us out again? I am. Or you can sneak off without. <laughs> Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate, you didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches. I then you're right here for an apology. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best for the village, and but that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan. Our master didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. Oh, shit. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to sell petty feuds and bar for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the worses. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravos is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time. Still, give us a mo, would you? You, uh. Let's go. We can't afford to write you are. I don't want any nasty. Oh, and Blackthorn. A cashing on the move. How close are they? We're in sight of the walls, and there are more coming up. <sighs> They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. Good idea. Get Understood. All right, time to see if uh, this new combination here is going to work. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade. No heroic last stands, you hear me? August's right. I've seen what a Kashyyyk beast can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing. I'm going out there. Start work on the gate as soon as I've left. And if they kill you? You evacuate, but it won't come to that. <laughs> Take good care of Dravos till I leave it to me. And... Yeah, I can't die. I still have to fight Odin. <laughs> Ugh. 
Oh shit! All right. Which one of you's first? All right, time to try to see how this works. Everyone, come here. Oh, didn't work. Didn't work the way I wanted it to. No! Damn, I fucked them up though. I'd say it works pretty good. Come here, bro. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. The damage is pretty good. <laughs> is that it? Like once the everything's set together, you can get rid of hordes pretty quick. I just gotta get better use to optimizing the combos or the move set. Not getting past me. All right. Damn it! I didn't press the button. Fuck.
I keep missing like all my dodges. But damn, the damage. <laughs> the damage, the speed. A few more battles and I think I can uh, get it down pretty good. I just really need to get used to not using Phoenix Dash. Because there were a few times in like the main damage phase where I was like, okay, Phoenix Dash, do some extra damage. But I don't have it, so gotta see. Sid. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched thing. But mostly, I felt grateful. I'm afraid I've only delayed the end. There's no getting rid of that ether flood, meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing. And that's if the flood don't spread. I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but with ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking to Owen. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always... envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me... You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. But you see the sense of it eventually. A life, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day. Because it's easy turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. <sighs> but that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. The, I never thought I'd see the day. Nice. That was a good little, a little arc there. I say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something. Oh, what you got? The cracked anvil. And this is. Token of a, but I'm of a mind to make you a farm. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from G. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravost? I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongue between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a fall. <laughs> Clive, you wouldn't mind if Sultan came back. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Sultan, get your... Yeah. Nice. 
All right, head to the hideaway. It sure do. It's funny, I've already gone through two weapons. <laughs> Unless I'm about to craft another one. Assuming I can craft it right now. Hey, that was the first one. We'll be tempered in a fire, burning the cinders you charmed out of old salt down here. And that wet stone from the outer oils, that'll be what gives the blade its edge. Nice, we're using the things that we got from all of his side quests. Final flourish will be a team effort led by the greatest blacksmith. Now, now, save that talk to the things finish, yeah? Right. To the bellows it is then. Sick. Let's see it. Well, bugger me. Damn. The sword to end all swords. Right, that's awesome. <laughs> the greatest craftsman alive then <laughs> this <laughs> it'll take more than that to earn us our place in history but we're up for the challenge sick a list of materials it's upgraded Sultan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravost we reckon with those items there we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself that's a weapon I'd like to see. Right. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next. Oof. Good idea. No more drinking if we... <laughs> okay, so... Sounds like this other weapon to craft is gonna be stronger. So I'm guessing that will be an endgame weapon? Because I don't imagine there's gonna be any more Blacksmith Blues. Got your dumb much wrong. <laughs> 325, nice. Okay, so that is the weapon I'm going to be striving for. What do I need to craft it? I never if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The best. Nice. And a good friend, the best. That's sick. Damn! <laughs> well. This one comes from killing another S-tier hunt. I've only done two, which is why I only have two. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute. <laughs> It'll take a minute. That's all good. For now, I will equip Ragnarok. That does look pretty sick, though. Even though it's temporary, it's still pretty sick. All right, next. Um, yeah, I should start doing uh, doing this. I'll do this quick one first to just kill enemies. I'll do that real quick. Um, it's just straight ahead, so I have to what, hit your right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Straight home now. I need to deal with the 
these ones first. Oh, there's a bomb guy here, okay. That is, this is nasty. That is a nasty setup. This is it. Right then. I am uh, <laughs> quite proud that I was able to craft that. <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. A lot of the things work together. Now, will I always be able to use them concurrently? No. But. It's still good, nonetheless. Okay. Fly Ambrosia. I have to go through here. Okay. Fight. Damn, this place got it too. Andre, what kind of uh, setup would you make? Like, would you make something that keeps proccing AoE stuff? Or kind of something similar to what I'm doing? Or like more direct damage, would you say? Wait 
Oh, it can be used mid-air? Oh shit, that's great. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say it's an upgrade compared to, what's its name? Uh, yeah, Hulk Smash, pretty much. <laughs> It's a pretty good uh, thing to have, I'd say, with this setup. Assuming she's still here. All right, what is there new to buy in this spot? How do? Rhyme. Which one is rhyme? Thanks very much. Is that the one I'm using? No, rhyme is the one I'm not using. Of course it is. <laughs> Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin it. Okay. Um. Someone I'm looking for here. It doesn't Are you back here? Yep. Yeah. It's been a pleasure, Doris. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid. You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slave. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have... That was her just now, so... I'd say so. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. She's dangerous, Sid. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to the Baum arches. Soon to Okay. Well, I might as well pick up Martha's quest while I'm here. I think the ability you would like, you'd probably like ignition. <laughs> you just, you're a fucking meteor. Maybe the Kamehameha as well. Um, probably one of these. Uh, Thunderstorm is really good. You get it fairly early on. But, yeah. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own. I'll keep providing them with whatever. But if East Pool's going to survive, as of those oh, yes. lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small. If you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more of Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it. But I. All right. Yeah, he would like Titans for sure. He's all green. Not the most mouth-watering crop. I'll better that than some chicken. Oh, hey, well. Um. Oh yeah, my East Pool is the place I was talking about earlier. Where, uh. Well, yeah. Well, Titan. You would probably like this counter. Good counterplay there. And you can follow up with one of these attacks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you have a fucking big ass beam, some Hulk smash shit, <laughs> a cinematic dodge, a lightning attack for range. It'd be pretty good. It'd be pretty sick, actually. Okay, which one do I want to do first? Um, I guess I'll help out the East Pool folks. Those are the people who, uh, this is like the new home, I guess. Like the extra space that they need. Ah, what brings you to East Pool? A delivery from... These are Gizal green seeds. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, 
I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping he might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Time it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, so wait. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Damn. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before... But if you could call on reinforce... You mean the bearers? We brought... So wait. You said you lacked men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians. What help them? He makes a good point. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter to serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Hmm. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. Damn. It's worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, Eastbourne. This is your village. Your home! And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it! You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives! So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die, having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? Come on, guys. me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. For Eastpool! For 
Thank you, Martha. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. I know. Like, even I'm like, hey, let's go! Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Hey. Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield? Bro, this is... <laughs> What's the plan of action? This feels like a main story quest. <laughs> Each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves upon engaging with the Akashic. Each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point with luck. That point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to smart them and fall upon them, and for you and I to finish the sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerve. I'd say you have both in abundance to wait. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let her wait! <laughs> then you know what you must do. We work together, everyone playing their part, each shielding the other that no man might fall. That East Pool might live on for this area. For this area. We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask, and I will do as you ask. Let's go. I suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Right, you are, Arthur. Oh my God.
Sorry for the delay. <laughs> the calm before the storm. And here it comes. All right, let's go. Let this village fall. Let me, bruh. Curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride, and it's... Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I, I could order a detachment or two to fall back. No. Then you stay here too, Sir Wade. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure. May the founder... Alright, let's go. Does it look like this new setup is doing more damage than the previous, than the last one? I think it is. I think it's got a little more variety. Fluid. Yeah, I getcha. There it is. With me, Togo. I think I kind of get what you mean. But it melted that enemy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it feels like everything's just connecting better. Alright. Back to East Pool.
Lord Rossfield. It's dead. Thank the Founder for that. We were able to eradicate the rest of the Horde. I have Guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attack. I hesitate to say it, but... I think it might. <sighs> we did it. We saved this poor man. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Nice. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. <laughs> Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it, but now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us, and still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now, so we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on then. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Nice. Good job. Not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. But you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'd be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. I will. Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes? <laughs> How could I forget? That was back in the demo. It is really good. There's one side that I shall never forget. You. Facing off against that giant mauble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. I know that East Pool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, like, that was really good. Really good. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get root. Take it. What am I taking? Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again, and a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. 
Like though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know, Mera's living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Old as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me? I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow, we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work, pfft, told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled, and then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. That whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right. Oh, and if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Anyway, enough. Better get back to work. At least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve it. Nice. That sounds like a wonderful. Yeah, this was a good one. <laughs> Where'd you get me? Oh. Cool. Okay, let's uh do this part here too. We've waited long enough. She's not coming. Back to civilization, is it, Mark? With all haste. Lest I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mark. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. Eh, uh, good luck. You're welcome to try.
Shit. Shit! Hmm. I don't want to kill this guy. We'll just Hulk smash. Forgive me for not avenging my men. I surrender. Sid. Ah, Doris. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books, but you proved yourself a master of both. How about it, my little dagger? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore, and she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court were All right. I am. And to nice. I should head back to the hideaway. And For real. Call. For real, everyone do. <laughs> Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and the letter. You don't need to worry about Doris any- I've been hoping as much. She met with the slaver we've been chasing all these months was her former ma- She's been arrested, by the way. Over in Sambra. Oh, nice. Went quiet. She won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers. But it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I hope so. You had quite the past yourself before you came here. Anyway. Keep up the good work. Cool, cool. You won't help me here. Come on, run like the wind.
Four more to do. <clears throat> I'll probably do the rest of them off stream. Um, and then tonight I'm gonna stream more of the main story, I think. At least that's fine. I might just stream all of it, but I don't know yet. How was she? With Canva in the hands of a cat. Ah, sir. Good. I definitely know at the very least I'll sh get to the open. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm gonna do one tonight for sure. <laughs> Definitely want to get through as much of the game as I can before my work week starts again. Big ass furnace. Okay. Save my beacon again, Sid. And I ain't about to leave. It's it's fine, really. Oh, do see that? I'm sure I can. You could just have out that clasp. Looks a bit stiff, and I reckon I know how. All right, let's see. What are you gonna give me? So it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owen. I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Now, but... Alright, skip to this. More potions. Let's go. Maximize. Okay, I think I'm getting relatively close to the end. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. What does this say? My main screen on the PlayStation says I'm 76% done with the main story. At least that's what I think it is. I'm getting close. That's assuming there's not a ton of side quests left though. Because there's a lot of things that are kind of resolving right now. I'm at the max amount of potion efficiency, max amount of potion capacity. Still a bit more bounties to do though. Oh shit, wrong person. Fuck. I didn't mean to buy a drink. Damn it, I wanted to speak to Karen to get more potions. Fucking shit. Okay. Just looks like four left total. Let's see. Oh, I 
wasn't expecting. 1965. But let's see, 2850 rating. I think that's like another two batches of side quests, I think, to get there. Come again. I may have more for ya. Alright. Well, that's gonna be it for this stream. I will definitely do this more later tonight. But yeah. That's that's that. So see ya see ya like oh shit. There we go, yeah. See you later.